Uh, I'll take the Eggs Benedict. And I'll have the excellent challenge. Dining out should be an experience. The obvious enjoyment of delicious food is number one for many. Admiring the decor or theme of the restaurant can also be something intriguing when it comes to eating out. But let's not forget about one attraction that draws in the customers, the food challenges. It's time to fill up on the top 10 food challenges in North America. Take my advice. This one's not for greenhorns. What's a greenhorn? Moe's Family Ultimate Breakfast Challenge. Technically anything's breakfast if it's your first meal of the day. Located in Oakville, Ontario, Canada, Moe's Family Restaurant is proud to showcase their big breakfast challenge. You may be biting off a lot more than you can chew in order to be declared a winner. Moe's Ultimate Breakfast Challenge is all about threes. Comedy comes in threes. Three eggs, three pancakes, three French toast, three sausages, three hash browns, and to wash it all down, either a 20 ounce cup of joe or 10 ounces of any juice. If you are able to get this monster breakfast down within two hours, you get the meal for free. Many people have tried and only a select few have succeeded. Bragging rights are a definite motivator when it comes to mustering up the courage to potentially clog your arteries for a picture on the wall of fame. Your photo will go on their website and you will definitely draw a crowd when the massive plate gets set down in front of you. Whether you are a winner or an unfinisher, there's no doubt that this is an experience that you will never forget. How you remember something sort of like becomes reality. The kitchen sink challenge. Scully just set fire to the kitchen sink. Hmm. Oh boy! Oh boy! Usually food challenges revolve around a breakfast, lunch, or dinner meal, but not this one. The kitchen sink challenge is a dessert challenge. Head over to the San Francisco Creamery Company, where this humongous ice cream sundae is literally served to you in a specialty made sink with the works. First, there are three sliced bananas, then they add eight scoops of ice cream. These eight flavors are entirely up to your choosing. After the difficult ice cream flavor decisions have been made, top it off with eight servings of whipped cream, toasted almonds, and cherries. One recent winner was able to finish the challenge in an astonishing 20 minutes and 37 seconds. Think about how crazy that is. Just imagine the brain freeze going on there. It's really rare for an average person to actually be able to get half that amount of ice cream down. The biggest perk if you're able to win this challenge, free ice cream for an entire year. Hey look, free ice cream! <laughs> Mick and Angelo's Man vs. Food Italian Challenge. Mamma mia! This challenge must really be something, as it was actually featured on the wildly popular TV show Man vs. Food. At Mick and Angelo's Kitchen and Bar in Niagara Falls, Ontario, they have taken it upon themselves to offer up a very Italian challenge. You have an hour and a half to finish an array of food, consisting of spaghetti, sausage, lasagna, chicken parmesan, cheese manicotti, cannelloni, garlic bread, vegetable soup, and then finish it all off with apple crisp for dessert. And how much does all of this food add up to? A whopping seven pounds. This challenge sounds almost impossible to finish. Before partaking in this insane challenge, one must go over a checklist of the regulations and then sign a waiver stating that they alone made the decision to participate. If by some miracle someone actually completes this challenge, they go home with the mandatory free t-shirt, a free meal, and their picture on the wall of fame. The stakes are high with this challenge because if you fail, you do not go unforgotten. Your photo goes up on the wall of shame next to all the other failures. So not only will your stomach hurt, so will your pride. Good. Twice the pride, double the fall. La Poutine Champ Challenge. So shut your poutine hole and let me... Nope. Lana? This next challenge comes from Thunder Bay, Ontario, at a place called La Poutine. If you do not know what poutine is, it is a French-Canadian dish consisting of French fries, gravy, and cheese curds. It may sound kind of gross, but we guarantee it is one of the most delicious concoctions ever. The French call this poutine. Poutine has evolved over the years and many different kinds of poutines now exist. To our surprise, La Poutine's Champ Challenge does not even involve eating poutine. Instead, you start with a one pound burger with everything on it. We're talking tomato, lettuce, condiments, onions, cheese, bacon, mushrooms, and more than two buns. Oh my! To go along with the burger are two pounds of french fries and to wash it all down, a 35 ounce milk. 
milkshake. For someone with a really big appetite, this might not sound so bad. The catch? The entire meal has to be devoured in 30 minutes. It could be worth giving this challenge a shot, because if you do succeed, you will get a 10% discount at the restaurant for life. I don't want poutine right now. Yes! Classic Burgers Belly Buster Challenge. Burger time! This next challenge comes from Classic Burgers, all the way from Moncton, New Brunswick. The challenge is called the Classic Burgers Belly Buster Challenge. Well, that sounds appealing, no? It consists of a gigantic burger and fries with a massive knife sticking out of it. When you actually see the plate in person, it is literally bigger than most contestants' heads. The burger is five pounds and the fries are a another five pounds. You only have one hour to try to get this all down. It seems like maybe the fries would actually be the hardest part of the challenge to finish. I mean, they fill up more than half the oversized plate. Be sure to bring your wallet, because if you can't finish the entire platter, then you will have to fork over the $59.99 for this meal. That's quite a hefty price tag for a burger and fries, even if on a giant scale. And where was the giant burger boy who pees mustard? Inferno Curry Challenge. Your lives have become too spicy, rendering you immune to spices. This challenge is extra special. Not only does it involve a large amount of food, that food is also majorly hot and spicy. When it comes to spicy food, some people can only handle a few bites before begging for a pitcher of water and wildly fanning their tongue. If this is you, then you might want to steer clear of this challenge. The Inferno Curry Challenge can be found in Las Vegas at the Mint Indian Bistro. This challenge began in 2014 and quickly became known as the spiciest challenge in Vegas. I also like to live dangerously. The challenge happens once a year during the month of October, and the prizes are actually pretty nice. If somebody wins the challenge, they get their picture on the Wall of Flame, a $50 gift certificate, and a chance to win 12 free entrees for the year if their name is picked from a draw. Over the years, the restaurant has upped the ante when it comes to this challenge. They've added even even more spice to the curry. The dish now has two additional peppers that, when combined, are hotter than the dreaded ghost pepper. The two new peppers are the Carolina Reaper and the Trinidad Moruga Scorpion Chili. This challenge sounds really intimidating and actually kind of dangerous. It's really important to know how your body reacts to extremely spicy food when entering these types of contests, because this challenge is definitely not for everyone. <laughs> Rick's Tasting Game. Wubba lubba dub dub! Now, this challenge is a bit different from all the rest we've looked at so far. There is more of a fun element to this challenge, and it's sweet on the tongue rather than scorching your taste buds or filling your stomach to excess. You can take this challenge at RM Seafood in Las Vegas. So, how do you play Rick's Tasting Game? 16 different kinds of ice cream and sorbet are given to the challenger alongside a blindfold. The challenger must correctly identify each flavor correctly. You would think this would be easy, but it is actually quite difficult, and people rarely get all 16 flavors correct. That's a 10. Sometimes the staff will throw the challenger a bone and let them in on one of the flavors. Then it is on them to get the rest of the 15 right. And these are not your everyday flavors we're talking about. Imagine the surprise of tasting a garlic-flavored ice cream or olive oil sorbet. It's usually a unanimous ew or yuck once the contender tastes it. Some other flavors included in the challenge are banana bread, Irish coffee, strawberry swirl, and honeydew. It is literally the worst part of everything it's in. It's like the Jared Leto of fruits! You would think that these flavors are pretty recognizable. Ew, what the hell? Jesus, there's flies in my ice cream! Rim Reaper Hot Wings Challenge. When I said lunch, I said noon, not noonish. Sorry, Ma. When you think of an Irish pub, visions of a live band and a pint of Guinness comes to mind. Traditional Irish cuisine may have somewhat of a bland reputation, but McKibben's Irish pub in Montreal knows how to spice things up. 
Introducing the Rim Reaper Challenge. 12 chicken wings smothered in a sauce so spicy it will make your eyes bulge. The sauce includes the famous ghost pepper, considered one of the world's hottest and most expensive peppers, according to the Guinness Book of World Records. The pepper is over 1 million Scoville units and guaranteed to leave you with a flaming taste in your mouth. If you finish all 12 of these wings within one hour, you are declared a winner. The prize includes getting your name on the wall of flame as well as a t-shirt. There's that t-shirt again. And of course, bragging rights. A little fear is put into you even before beginning the challenge because you basically have to sign your life away. Nothing to read into there. Thanks! A waiver declaring that you agree to take part in the challenge and are fully aware of the heat factor involved needs to be read and signed by the contestant. This bar has crowned quite a few winners over the years and has grown their reputation when it comes to serving up something fun and hot. I got a fever, and the only prescription is more cowbell. The Pho Garden Challenge. Hey, how about another match, Genos? Most challenges always consist of meats or fried foods, so a big bowl of soup kind of separates itself from the others. In total, the bowl is four pounds. Imagine coming out of a restaurant literally four pounds heavier from just one bowl of soup. Yikes! Well, to start off, there are two pounds of noodles and two pounds of beef. This challenge takes place at the Pho Garden in San Francisco, California. California is usually thought of as more of a health-oriented state, but there are always exceptions. Some places like to get a little crazy and step outside the box. And the people are all phonies. No one reads. Everything has cilantro on it. This challenge has a time limit of one hour, which is a very short amount of time considering the amount that one needs to consume. Pho Garden is now closed. And though it was one of the originators when it comes to pho challenges, there are plenty of others that have come around since for those looking to challenge themselves with massive amounts of pho. You can tell first and foremost by the name because it don't got a number in it. The Jamboli Challenge. In this case, the beast is 80 ounces of meat, cheese, meat. Butte, Montana is not just home to beautiful sights, but it's also the home of a challenge that has become famous. This food challenge is offered up at Trimbo's Pizza. The challenge needs to be completed in one hour and is an individual experience. The brave contestant must finish a stromboli. This is not your everyday stromboli, though. It is 80 ounces. Inside, this Italian specialty consists of mozzarella and ricotta cheese, pizza sauce, fried peppers and onions, black olives, mushrooms, spinach, and then come the meats, capicola, salami, and pepperoni. This challenge is a little intimidating, though, because the rules consist of not being able to leave the table. You have to finish the whole thing and you you cannot vomit. Oh, gross! If you do manage to scarf this insane dish down, you do get a reward. Of course, the $30 stromboli will be free, you get a free t-shirt, and your photo will go up on the wall of fame. Unfortunately, it seems like Trimbo's Pizza is no longer in business, so this challenge is not accepting new challengers. So those brave and lucky enough to get their photos on the wall of fame and their t-shirts are an exclusive bunch. I noticed you never finished your chimichanga, so... I got some room for it now, if you know what I mean. We've got more great videos for you to fill up on. All you need to do is tap that screen. And if you never want to miss out, just click on that subscribe button and hit that bell to join our notification squad.